Hey, Chris. Hello. How you doing? Um, Good. Sunday morning, nice and chill. It was pretty chaotic here yesterday. It was nice intense. and busy. Good to see lots of people in yeah. here. Um, I've not come across a Mute Lab instrument, so uh, what are you showing here? Yeah, so we're a newish company. We're a, we come out of a research group called Emute Lab at the University of Sussex, which okay. is a music tech research group, and we're looking at kind of getting our uh, instruments researched out into hardware in the in the public domain. This looks absolutely fascinating. <laughs> so we've got a. So this is our second module, and it's going to be out in uh, well, hopefully soon. So uh, this is the last prototype. We hope, and uh, what it is, it's a. A multi it's like a swarm oscillator by the sound of it. Yes, yeah, a multi oscillator. So it's got nine oscillators in here. It works with a, a kind of hybrid analog digital synthesis mechanism. And what you've got is three groups of three oscillator banks and you with a bunch of different oscillator models which you can I'm just gonna put these headphones on so I can hear it. So you can uh, you can listen to different os oscillator groups here, try out different combinations. And that the whole thing's aimed at making kind of big sounds with a lot of motion yeah. in them. What's I mean, what are the parameters are there? Because that as a sort of static noise is, yeah. is quite overwhelming. Yeah. Without move, without mo well, there's micro it's, movement. But so yeah. we've got a pitch pitch control. So all these pink knobs here are CV controllable. So we've got pitch here. We've got um, this is a spread control. So it's right. kind of a detune. Uh, this one is an octave spread, which spreads out over different combinations of, of octaves. And then this one is a control which does something different to different models. So you'd be able to hear something. Slight like detune. Yeah, it's a kind of tone control that, uh, that affects different models a bit differently. And oh, then right, this so all sort of thickens up into some big sounds. Uh, what we've also got is uh, a wave shaping and overdrive circuit. So you can hear these, see these two LEDs here, and so uh, they're part of an overdrive circuit, which is also CV controllable. So if I plug this into this output, then it's going to start to sound, sound quite sort of distorted. Wow, that's sort of a real different. decimation, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So that is a wave shaper kind of pushing into an overdrive, which kind of gets get quite mad. Uh, on top of that, I'll just put it back in the clean output, we've got these metamodulation modes which are designed to uh, add a lot more movement into the sounds. Right. So there's a, if I press this encoder here, then we've got a bunch of different algorithms which modulate the sound in different ways. So this one here, this is a chaos attractor which is being mapped into, we can just put that into the pitch, so that's modulating the pitch of all nine oscillators at once. Oh wow, that sounds interesting. And then, Lovely visuals. And then also the next one along is a kind of bank of sine waves, so we can change the speeds and change the depth like this. So it kind of just thickens up, thickens up the sounds. So we're adding a bit of motion into the oscillators there. Then we've got some more esoteric stuff. This is a bit of AI, this is a neural network, which just sort of does weird things. <laughs> it responds to all the controls and sends out different, uh, very kind of non-linear patterns out into the, into the oscillators. And then lastly, uh, this is a, we call the Drunken Walkers, which is a kind of random, random walk. Slowly, uh, so, is this a mono output? Because it feels like it would be really good in stereo. It right? is mono. Oh, yeah. shame. Yeah. Uh, so that's that's the idea behind it, just to kind of build up these thick sounds with with a lot of motion in. Excellent. So, um, you say it's sort of last stage prototype. Hopefully, I mean, fingers yeah, crossed. I think uh, we've got one more test, and then we'll you, get it into production. Have basically. you got any ideas where you know what where it's going to fit in the terms of pricing? Uh, I think we we talked with distributor with uh, Signal Sounds about maybe 350, 400. Okay. And then it's going to be in a kit from Thonk as well. Right, and sometime this year maybe, do you think? Hopefully as soon as possible, <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.